we always use the terms like codon, anticodon when we are at the end of gene expression, like at the time of translation when we discuss the translation process or when we discuss the molecular structure of tRNA and mRNA molecules. So what actually these terms denote? What codon and anticodon is? We'll be discussing in this lecture. So let's get started. First of all, we will see the overview. In simple terms, we say codon is a three base sequence of nitrogenous bases in a row on messenger RNA. So we know that mRNA is a single stranded molecule of polynucleotides, and these polynucleotides are adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil. Thymine is not available here, which is present in DNA, but here instead of thymine, we have a uracil here in mRNA molecule or RNA molecule simply. So we define this codon is a three base sequence of any of the above nucleotides. It, it may be A, G, C, G, C, A, but only a three nucleotide sequence. Like AUG defines initiation codon for methionine. But uh, if we take an example, AUGA sequence, it defines nothing. So it's, it's a three base sequence which defines something, which codes for something. And the something here is the amino acids. And similarly, we say anticodon is a three base sequence of nitrogenous bases. It goes the same way. It's also the three base sequence of nitrogenous bases, but it's on tRNA at a specific loop called anticodon loop. It must be noted here. Anticodon is present only at anticodon loop, nowhere else in the tRNA molecule because tRNA has got another loops also. And remember, tRNA has not only adenine, thionine, guanine, and uracil bases, but it has also pseudo bases, which do not account for anticodon. And we must remember here, the messenger RNA has message or information in these codons, in these three base sequences, what we call as codons. And in these codons, what is in these codons? It's which amino acid is to be made, which amino acid is to be added to the growing polynucleotide chain. So specific codon codes for specific amino acid and tRNA being the carrier here, it acts as a carrier here. That is, it just carries amino acids to the ribosome where translation is under process. So here the anticodon present on tRNA makes sure that the correct amino acid is getting added to the chain when its complementary sequence matches with codon. So we call it a anticodon. Let's take an example of codon here. We have a codon AUG sequence. That's adenine is followed by uracil is followed by guanine. It's a sequence of three nucleotide bases. And this one codes for methionine and it's also an initiation codon. So it codes for methionine. And for that anticodon sequence must be UAC because it's its complementary sequence to the codon. It's the anticodon and this sequence will be present on tRNAs till now all 64 codons which have been discovered are present on mRNA chain. And of these 64 codons, 61 codons code for specific amino acid and the three remaining codons are stop codons. They do not code for any amino acid. They are a stop signal where this amino acid chain is to be stopped, where this termination has to occur. Now we will see when we encounter with these codons and anticodons. We encounter with these codons and anticodons at the time of translation and that too at the time of amino acid activation. And for this amino acid activation, we have a first step where amino acid, it may be any amino acid, combines with ATP and it gives us amino acyl AMP plus two phosphates and this amino acyl AMP has to combine with tRNA because tRNA is the molecule that will carry this amino acid to their ribosome. So it combines with tRNA and gives us the cognate TNA or charged TNA that we call as amino acid tRNA. So now we have a tRNA loaded with amino acid. This is called as cognate TNA or charged TNA and this will go to the ribosome and will match with it is codon. Now let's see in detail how these codons and anticodons match with each other and where these anticodons and codons are. 
Suppose we have a mRNA chain here, it has got a series of nucleotides and for that we have a specific nucleotide sequence of three nucleotide bases that's U, C, A, uracil, cytosine and adenine and uracil, cytosine and adenine it's present on mRNA and this will code for serine amino acid. So it must be noted here UCA it codes for serine amino acid. Now for that serine codon that's present on mRNA there must be any cognate tRNA which will bring the serine amino acid to the growing chain and this cognate tRNA this charged tRNA will only add serine amino acid to the growing chain when its three base sequence present on anticodon loop complementary matches with three base sequence on mRNA remember here so this is a sort of correct amino acid recognition here by tRNA if tRNA sequence matches with the sequence of mRNA three base pair then it adds amino acid otherwise it will never add amino acid to it so it's a sort of recognition here and we see here on cognate tRNA we have a sequence of AGU for this serine codon and it complementary matches with UCA. So a three base sequence on tRNA is anticodon and a three base sequence on mRNA is codon and both are complementary with each other. And you must remember here that anticodon is read in 3 prime to 5 prime end while as codon is read in 5 prime to 3 prime end. And on tRNA molecule, we see different type of loops, like we have a D loop, we have a T psi loop, variable loop that contains mostly the pseudo bases, and anticodon loop that contains this three base sequence, what we call it as anticodon. That's why it's called anticodon loop. And on the upper side, we have an acceptor system that has got amino acid installed onto it, which will add to the growing chain. And one last thing that must be in your mind is why termination codons like UGA, UAA sequence on mRNA terminates translation process, terminates the synthesis process. So the answer is it's only and only because a termination codon present on mRNA does not have any cognate tRNA or charged tRNA. What I mean to say here is its anticodon is nowhere in the process to add amino acid to the chain. So finally the codon, the termination codon present on mRNA is devoid of any anticodon recognition because of the absence of charged tRNA which terminates the synthesis and that's why it's called termination or stop codon. So this was all about the concept of codon and anticodon. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.